into it that um, you know playing against uh, you know our practice players is going to be a lot different than um, you know playing against the Syracuse zone. There's really no way to simulate it, um, and then we haven't played against them much this year, so uh, we knew our, we had our work cut out for us. And, um, unfortunately, we didn't handle it as well as we, we were hoping. Getting down 17 in the first half, you guys made that run at the end of the first half, got it to within six, and it, it, did you just fall back into the same things that, were, that happened in the first half? Yeah, I mean, we, we couldn't quite get over the hump. Uh, we had, you know, too many turnovers. Um, you know, they don't allow any, any easy buckets. Um, you know, a lot of the, the stuff that gets us going throughout the year, um, they weren't giving us any of that. Um, it's a lot of what the zone takes away, so... A lot of credit to them. Cody, when you look at these seniors and what they accomplish, um, what do you say about that? And just you know, the, the time they had here, had here with IU. Uh, they've accomplished so much, um, especially where the program is at when they got here. Um, to where you know the successful season that we had this year, one of the Big Ten, um, best conference in the in the country, um, back to back Sweet Sixteen. Um, you know, they've come a long way. I think they'll be remembered for a long time. Is this loss more frustrating the fact that so under character characteristic of you guys as far as the turnovers, uh, the missed shots, does it does this make it hurt more because this is not the IU team many folks used to see? It? Um I mean a loss uh, you know to end the season always hurts. Uh, I think it hurts hurts more just just because of the seniors what they've gone through. Um, you know, they've been through a lot. They've uh, you know, kind of set the work ethic of this program, kind of set an example of, of how everyone needs to, needs to work. Um, so it's tough for them, especially. Losing Jimmy, uh, I know a lot of people didn't expect us to get to Sweet 16 last year, but the guys in this room did, and uh, it feels about the same. Although I'm probably a little bit more mad because I can't redeem myself in the following year. It's pretty tough. Probably the rest of my life. Um, <laughs> That's kind of what I pride myself on in my shooting. And, uh, let the team down. Um, I was not able to you know, hit any shots today. And, um, but, you know, we just didn't do a lot of different things. We could win the ball game with. But we never gave up, and I was proud of our team for uh, always fighting through it. Did the coach say anything specifically to you after the game? Uh, not, I mean, to all the guys who are leaving that, um, you know, we brought back to this program and we have a lot to be uh, proud of. Uh, obviously, there's lots to get better at for the team for next year. Uh, but for us guys leaving, you know, this is it. It's pretty tough to go out this way. Well, you know, it was a little bit of everything. But, you know, I'm sure once I, once I swallow this pill, you know, I sit back and I don't, you know, I look back at the career. So, you know, as a career I've had, just uh, that's how far we've come at uh, this. You know, just, you know, what we've we done to get to this point. In terms of the game, looking back, I know hindsight's 2020, but how much tougher was that to prepare for in terms of that zone than maybe you guys thought? <laughs> oh, well, it's tough. You know, it's, it's definitely tough to replicate with uh, with the, with the person in with and stuff like that. But, um, you know, we're just trying to ball level too much against the um, you know, I don't know, I think that 19 turnovers, you, you can't expect to win at, at, at this type of level. But the 19 turnovers. What was Coach's message for you guys afterwards? Uh, well, you know, it wasn't really anything about the game, you know. But, you know, uh, you know, guys in this program got a long way to go. And, uh, you know, I'm sure they'll, I'm sure they'll get to it, but uh, you know, we just just looking back at it, you know, at the good times we had. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, Syracuse is the best zone. I feel like it's so long. So uh, you know, prepare for that is I say is you know kind of tough. I say yeah. What was coach's message here after the game? You know, he just kind of saying us. You know, we got a lot of work to do for those guys that still be here, and uh, you know, for those guys that are leaving. Uh, you know, I just wish them the best of luck, and he feels like uh, you know everyone that is leaving is uh, going to be a place somewhere uh, professionally. So uh, you know, coach is just kind of. Uh, you know, trying to, you know, look forward and uh, look to see, you know, things we need to work on for next year. I know you wanted Cody to, you came here because of partnership Cody Zeller, and I know you wanted to play with him for more than one year. What's your take on whether he'll come back and play next year in Indiana? 
Uh, well, I would like to pay with him for another year, but, uh, you know, Cody's going to do what's best for him and his family, and, uh, you know, whatever choice he decides to do, uh, you know, I'm going to give him his full support, and, you know, the whole team will give him his full support, and, you know, wherever he ends up, uh, I know he'll do great. I guess, you know, Victor probably uh, graduating will probably just take that next step, which is probably good for him. Uh, yeah, I mean, whoever, especially gets big, is, uh, I mean, He's one of the greatest players I know, especially in college basketball, uh, on and off the court. I feel like he's just such a great guy, and he's going to definitely make an impact uh, in the next level. Is there anybody you guys played all year that reminds you of Syracuse? Uh, I say nobody does, no. How hard was it to prepare? Uh, you know, I guess it was kind of hard to prepare because uh, you know, we don't have the kind of guys that are as long as they were. So uh, we kind of uh, didn't really see how long they were until we got out there and played against it. So I'd say that was just uh, the toughest part. Vic said the goal was a Final Four. Do you allow yourself to think about other goals? No question, the Final Four. Um, you know, like I said earlier, you know, we, we thought we had a lot of basketball left. So it's, it's tough to sit here and have to go through this. Um, We, us seniors, we know we laid down a good foundation, and, and uh, Coach Green's going to get the right guys in here to, to, to keep moving forward, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Um, you know, it's always been that way through that freshman year to um, the senior season. We've done nothing but move forward, and, and uh, that's exactly what it's going to be. A lot of tears for the seniors. I mean, I feel like that's probably a little more than just this game. Oh, yeah. No, I mean... When you sit down here and, and you know a loss like this, you know the only thing running through your mind is, is just what we had to go through to get to this situation. Uh, you know we we hate to lose, you know, but when you lose a game like this and you know you sit down and you have time to look back and, and just think about what what it was and, and a lot of it's you know a lot of tears because uh, you're hurt, but a lot of it's you know. Here's a joy to actually get here. We know we know we were never going to be in this situation when we first started. So to sit here and, and, and to have to do this, it hurts. But, you know, we know we laid down a good foundation uh, for good things to come still in the future.